So I met Serenity in the clinic. She was such a cute little baby and uh, we could tell that she was very smart and she just wanted to be plugged in. She wanted to hear and uh, we were very motivated to get her to that point where she could hear and be part of the world. Whenever I first got her, she was actually all contracted. Her thumbs were in, she was pulled up. It was a failure to thrive where she wasn't doing much. She never made a sound. You never want to think too far ahead, but I definitely had high hopes for her. I, I felt strongly that uh, we had a good chance of helping her, and it's really wonderful, I think, how she's done. So we first started testing all of her hearing, and they said that she is definitely profound deaf. You might imagine when you're this big, it's uh, very difficult to test hearing accurately because you can't participate, raise your hand, and the hearing test is, is normally done. And So we have various electronic ways of uh, confirming the hearing loss, and then we all meet as a team, cochlear implantation, getting the most out of your cochlear implants is definitely a team activity, so we worked very closely with the audiologist, we discussed her case, we reviewed her scans, and made sure that she was a good candidate for a cochlear implant, which uh, of course, as it turned out, she was. We were excited to be able to do both her implants uh, at the same time, so she just had one surgery. There's a small incision made uh, behind the ear. Surgery usually takes about two or three hours uh, per year. So with a cochlear implant there's two components to it. There's a part that's on the inside that I put in that's underneath the skin and then there's an outer part that looks like a traditional hearing aid that couples with the inside part with a magnet and so when the child takes off the outer part with the magnet uh, you can't tell that there's uh, anything on uh, the uh, inside. So the cochlear implant uh, works by taking sound and then using a computer to convert an electrical signal. And it's able to stimulate the nerves inside the inner ear, called the cochlea, uh, directly. And it sort of works like a piano keyboard. And it's able to stimulate the correct frequencies uh, that are needed to recreate uh, the speech or sound that is being uh, heard. And the surgery, my part, is actually the easy part. Really, the hard work is done by the audiologist afterwards and by the family, learning how to use the devices, retraining the brain to use the new input. When I met her, we were, you know, programming her and just kind of like teaching her to listen. They turn them on so slow, so she didn't make like any great recognition, but she would turn to me whenever I would talk to her. Right. What's a tiger? A tiger. Right. What's a kitty cat? What's a cat say? Meow. Meow. What? All of a sudden they start developing language and it's really, really an amazing, you know, an amazing thing because all of a sudden they start saying, you know, words and then all of a sudden they start saying sentences and, and now look at her, she's She's saying full sentences, she's talking, she has, you know, language and she can communicate and yeah, she's, she's really an amazing uh, example of what cochlear implants can do. She's really great.